Welcome to the new episode of Bande Mataram, Story of India's Brave Hearts. Nana was born as Nana Govind Tondu Pant on May 19, 1824, in Bengal, Maharashtra, to Narayan Bhatt, a well educated Hindu Brahmin, and his wife Ganga Bhatt, who was a sister in law of the Peshwa. The East India Company defeated the Maratha in the Third Maratha War and inside the 12th and the last Peshwa, Bajira II, to Bithur, near Kanpur, in Uttar Pradesh, where he managed to establish a large establishment. Nana's father was made a court official in Bithur, while Rao II, who had no son, adopted Nana and his younger brother in 1827. As per Rao II's will, Nana was then heir presumptive to the Maratha throne and also eligible for his adoptive father's annual life pension from the East India Company. However, the pension was stopped after Rao died on the grounds that Nana was not his biological son. This meant that the kingdom no longer existed according to some of the hidden plot in the doctrine of lapse. The denial from the court of directors infuriated Nana and decided to revolt. He joined the Sepoy battalions in Kanpur in 1857. On June 6, 1857, Nana's forces, along with the soldiers from Kalyanpur, attacked the East India Company entrenchment. The company forces, though not prepared for the attack, managed to defend themselves as Nana's forces were hesitant to enter the entrenchment. During the first week of the siege of Kanpur, Nana's forces had established their firing positions from the buildings around. Nana said that the downfall of East India Company was predicted exactly 100 years after the Battle of Lhasa. The supports launched a major attack on General Wheeler's entrenchment on June 23rd 1857, which marked the 100th anniversary of the battle. However, Nana's forces were unable to enter the company's entrenchment. The entrenchment, on the other hand, had lost soldiers and was running short of ration supplies. To end the deadlock, Nana sent a female European prisoner to General Wheeler with a deal. Nana asked him to surrender. And in return, he promised a safe passage to the Satichura Ghat. General Wheeler rejected the offer, as he suspected the genuineness of the deal. Rana then sent another female prisoner with a signed note, and it was accepted. At the Satichura Ghat, Nana had arranged boats for the departure to Allahabad. At the Ghat, there was a huge crowd that had gathered to witness the former master's leaving. A possible gunshot from the high banks led to a huge massacre at the Ghat. Some of the company officers later accused Nana of planning the attack beforehand and also betrayal and murder of innocent people. However, no definitive evidence against Nana was found. Following the Satichara Ghat incident, the surviving women and children from Wheeler's entrenchment were moved from the Savadag house to Bibi Ghar. Nana decided to use the prisoners to bargain with East India Company. General Henry of the company commanded his force to take over Kanpur and Lucknow again. Nana demanded that Havelock's East India Company forces move back to Allahabad. The company forces, however, advanced persistently towards Kanpur. Nana then sent the army of his brother, Bala Rao, to stop the company forces, but he was defeated in the battle of Aung. Havelock's army also tortured people from the nearby villages. General Havelock was informed about Nana's new position in the Ahirva village after his forces reached Kanpur on July 16, 1857. He ordered an attack on Nana's forces and emerged victorious. Nana counter-attacked by blowing up the company magazine in Kanpur and departed to Bithur. To avenge the Bibi massacre, the 
completely retaliated with violence. While Havelock resumed to operation in the tomb on July 16th. However, Nana had already escaped by then. Nana disappeared, and after the company recaptured Kanpur. In September 1857, he was reported to have fallen sick due to malaria. However, this is doubtful. In June 1858, after the Gwali recaptured Rani Lakshmi Bai, Tatya, and one of Nana's close confidants, Rao Sahib, declared Nana Sahib as a new Peshwa. Due to this, many sources regard Nana as the last Peshwa and hail him as the freedom fighter. Thank you. Namaskar.